That's amazing. I didn't know about Beautiful the mine. People. Yeah, yeah. yeah. People. Definitely, great definitely. food. Yeah, amazing. Amazing. So great I know. Weather. Great weather. That's the most important thing in the water and the weather and the people. Um, exactly. Amazing. Yeah. I know you're also big on criminal justice reform. Yes. Did you get a chance to speak with Kim Kardashian West while you were here in Los Angeles on the subject? No, 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 I haven't. Um, but I did meet with uh, Brooklyn Borough President uh, Eric Adams. Okay. He's going to be the next mayor of uh, New York City. Amazing. Yeah, and, and so we had a great conversation about that. You know, he's a former police officer, and, and so we look forward to uh, a citizen um, security cooperation as far as what he's going to do to restore uh, New York City uh, back to a, a safe city. We want to employ those mechanisms uh, in uh, Belize. And overall, all of my conversations with the congressmen and women, I met with uh, Yvette Clark, who's the uh, chair of the Congressional Black Caucus. Okay. And um, I met with Rep. Hakeem Jeffries, who is the chair of the Democratic Caucus. And I met with the chairman of the uh, House Foreign Affairs Committee. Uh, the, the theme, and I met with uh, Congresswoman Maxine Waters as well oh, from, from California. Yeah. The theme of all of these meetings, uh, you know, the, the criminal justice reform was a threat in all of these meetings because obviously I represent, uh, you know, uh, criminal justice reform. And the fact that I was a 19 year old child, you know, that made a mistake and I was able to turn my life around. And this is more uh, of an incentive as to why we need to save our children and, and allow them the opportunity to rehabilitate and redeem and we can't criminalize them, we can't punish them in perpetuity. So, so I'm, I'm a great example of why criminal justice reform is needed. Absolutely, and I know you're busy. And I had those conversations with all the Congress men and women and they agreed and we agreed to work together uh, on, on those issues. Absolutely, that sounds great. I'm glad you're making progress there. Last question in our, uh, you know, ter terrible crisis uh, today at Kabul Airport, and our hearts go out to all the families involved. Uh, regarding the the refugees that did make it to the United States, any advice for them on adapting to their new surroundings uh, and and leaving loved ones behind at home, etc. Certainly, I give my my deepest sympathies to the people that lost their lives in uh, Afghanistan terrorist attack and you know I just uh, pray for those that are coming to the United States I wish them well in their transition and you know this is even a, a greater reason why uh, you know we appreciate uh, our relationship with the Americans and why there needs to be more investment uh, in uh, the Western Hemisphere in particular in Belize so that we can strengthen democracies because as you see what happened in Afghanistan that's what happens when you're dealing with dictatorships and communists uh, so it's important that we strengthen our relationships and investments with uh, democratic nations uh, such as Belize. Wonderful. Thank you for your time. Any any message? I know you know you're you're, you're on a big campaign with the, with the opposition party. Any message to your followers, to the people? Uh, anything you want to say? Well, you know, I just uh, thank all of the Belizeans here uh, in California that came out to see me uh, today, and the Belizean diaspora is very very important uh, to me as a uh, diaspora. Belizean myself, I, I think uh, the country uh, will develop once we unlock that relationship with the diaspora. And so it's part of, of my policy uh, as leader of the opposition and the United Democratic Party's policy to engage uh, the diaspora. Absolutely. Thank you for your time, sir.